Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions from people who use my foldables, like how do I print this? What do I do? How do I fold it? How do I make it? What do I cut? So I'm putting together some clips to show you exactly how to make them. The easiest one would be a foldable that looks like this. Just a one pager opens up on both sides and that would be this foldable here. So what you would do with a page like this, most of my foldables you have to print in the PDF Adobe Reader settings as printing double side with the shorter side being the flipping side. That way when you see it like this, this is the inside of the foldable, the other side is facing the same direction. It's not upside down. That's what happens when it flips long ways. And so for here, this would be a really simple thing. They just fold it, they fold it into the center line. It's kind of hard to do this with how I'm doing it right now. And that's simply it. Just fold right to the center line. They have one side and then practice the other side and then practice easy easy then the next step from that one would be the same kind of idea but maybe i have four separate tabs so then it's still printed with the shorter side being the flipping side students would fold into the center line again okay we always want to do our folds first they would fold to the center line but let's say i have four different tabs so what the students would then do is they take their scissors and they just simply cut, they simply cut to make the tab. And then they would do the same thing on the other side. They would simply cut just like the doorway of it to make the four tabs. Easy, easy. So these two are very similar. This is just a two part foldable and this would be four. The next easiest foldable is one that looks like this where there's a whole page of the inside but this is also again printed double-sided with the shorter side being the flipping side and then it's just a simple fold on the right okay you're folding the right hand side of the paper this is an example where oh i have the whole front as examples or directions and then the entire inside is the exact same skill whereas the next layer to that would be a foldable that looks like this it's still the whole inside still printed double-sided with the shorter side being the flipping side, but the right-hand side would get folded in to the tab, the, the title tab. And then because this one does have two sections, I would then have my students cut where the door is so that they have, oh, this is the first section, here's that skill, and then here's the bottom section and that skill, okay? Then the next stage from this would be if there were three tabs. So exact same thing. This is the inside. I would have my students fold to my title side. So they go right to the dotted line, fold, fold, fold. And then they would make these two cuts to make the four doors. So cut, cut, cut. Sometimes I have students in the beginning of the year, they cut the whole way through the paper and I show them. I show everyone like the mistakes so that students don't make it going forward. So exponential growth, exponential decay, and then compound interest. So again, super similar, but this is when I have two topics for the skill and this would be when I have three. All of those are printed with the shorter side being the flipping side. But now the last one, my flip books. So I should pull up an example from my notebook. Let me show you this flip book. And so the flip books tend to give the students the hardest time but this is what it would look like. I have my title tab, and then I have the first tab that opens up to a small section. The second tab opens up to a longer section, and then the third tab would open up to the longest section. Okay, so this is how this generally looks. When you create a flip book, what happens is the page gets printed, not with the shorter side being the flipping side. So if you see this and then I flip it, it looks upside down this the flip books are printed with the longer side being the flipping side so if it flips on the long side it's facing right up okay and what will happen with the flip books is that you cut the paper in half right down the middle I'm covering my face sorry you cut the paper in half right down the middle it's always scary the first time students do this they think they're doing something wrong and then i always show the students on my screen what the finished flip book would look like and so i tell my students find the two bottom tabs. So I would say find the tab that says product of a sum and a difference. So you could see that's the bottom, that's the bottom tab. And then I tell them the other sheet, 
will have the tab that goes right above it, square of a difference. So then I would grab my other sheet and I would find the side that says square of a difference. And so what you do is you layer the bottom two tabs, like you're making half of the flip book. Okay, so you can see that I put square of a difference on top of product of a sum and a difference. So you can see it lines up right with my flip book. And then I simply just pinch these papers together and then just flip over the top. Fold, and that's it. That's the flip book. Um, students can put a staple right at the top of the fold line. They could also like open it up. Sometimes I tell my students like it's really good to open it up and actually put the stapler like through and staple right on the fold line that way. But that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much. Bye.